Hey everyone, welcome back to another video here on Fox Tech. In today's video, we're going to show you how to change the temperature unit in the weather app on your iPhone, whether you prefer Fahrenheit or Celsius. This is a quick and easy process that ensures you always get the temperature readings in your preferred unit. Let's dive right into it. First, open the weather app on your iPhone. Take a moment to check the current temperature unit displayed, which will be either Fahrenheit or Celsius. This is important because it lets you know what the default setting currently is. Sometimes the app might default to a unit based on your location. So it's good to be aware of this initial setup. Next, you'll need to navigate to your iPhone's settings. Scroll down until you find the weather option. This section controls various settings for the weather app, including the temperature unit. Tap on weather to open its settings. Within the weather settings, look for the section labeled temperature unit. This is where you can switch between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Simply choose your preferred unit by tapping on it. If you select Celsius, the temperature will be displayed in Celsius across the weather app and any other apps that show temperature. Likewise, if you choose Fahrenheit, it will switch to that unit. It's worth noting that the default temperature unit often depends on the location you're in. For example, in the United States, the default unit is usually Fahrenheit as it's the standard there. Meanwhile, in most other parts of the world, Celsius is the norm. This geographical distinction is why the weather app might initially display temperatures in one unit over the other. And that's all there is to it. By following these simple steps, you can ensure that your iPhone displays temperature readings in your preferred unit, making it easier to stay informed about the weather in a way that makes sense to you. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Fox Tech C for more tech tips and tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. See you guys later.